What's up guys? Alright, so this will be part two for making a drum beat in Ableton Live. In part one, we talked about how to play the drums on the keyboard and get some good MIDI information, how to apply a swing pattern to it, and how to extract it down to audio. So after you know how to do those things, the next step is to arrange all of your drum beats into parts of songs. So the part that I'm going to arrange right now, um, the scratch track sounds a little bit something like this. Okay, so I need to make one more beat. Over here, I have that extracted audio that we um, recorded in the last video. And then right here, dun dun, that's where I need to make the new beat. So let's go ahead and record that. And then we'll extract that one down to audio. This shouldn't take too long. So let's see. Close this down. Almost perfect. This needs to be. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to highlight and quantize. And just to double check that, let's loop it and see if it sounds good. extract that one down to audio and it's gonna happen right now one two ready go okay success it works it actually worked can't believe it okay so now this is what we have <laughs> So we have these alternating uh, drum patterns happening right here. Okay, so I'm gonna check the scratch track and see What happens next? Turnaround one time, so I'm gonna go over here and find the drum beat for the turnaround. And that's gonna go. I forgot. <laughs> Have 
dragons right there. Sounds weird with just the drums. So yeah, you just think of how the song sounds in your mind and you just piece the drums together accordingly. So what we have now from piecing all these drum parts together, it all sounds like this. And I'll go back in and record guitar over it. how to make drum beats via MIDI, record them down to audio, and piece them together to make parts of songs. So hopefully that helped. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or anything like that. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.